how can I know who loves me? And my problem is, how can I know who loves you? He said, that's the big, the problem is not how, the problem is how can I know? Because I don't know who knows you. <laughs> I don't know all your friends. I don't know their character. I don't know their background. I don't know the text messages they give you. I don't know the hours they call you. I don't know the compromising conversations that goes on. I don't know the way you are dressed to attract him. I don't know the way things were. So how can I know? So let me just tell you a little about what I know. So that I pray that the Lord will help us. How would you know that someone loves you? Three things, write it down. The first thing is by the leading of the Holy Spirit. You can't take God out of examining people's heart. It's only God that knows the depth and the rings of the heart of men. And if you really want God to help you choose who really loves you, he can help you. But in reality, sometimes God will give you who you don't have feelings for. Because God does not deal in who loves you. God deals in who can help you. I will give you a help meet. A help that is meet for you. So sometimes if you are dealing with God, you have to really define what love is. To God, love is not butterflies. Love is one's ability to help you fulfill destiny. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Inside the giving is for his beloved son to die. No feelings matter. His beloved son died a shameful death so you can be saved. And sometimes you don't even know the value of that salvation. But God says, I love you. So he can save you and keep you poor. But if you go, he'll tell you, I love you. He can save you and keep you sick. But he'll still tell you, I love you. But to you, God, if you love me, you must give me a job. But to God, I love you and saved you from hell. So God's help and definition of love, sometimes is not our definition of love. So if you go to God to show you who love you, it will shock you that God will point someone who does not call you regularly. God will point someone who does not give you gifts. God will point somebody you don't really feel. But any time that you go before God, it's the person you have peace for. But the one that takes you to KFC, the one that bought you iPhone for birthday gifts, God may not choose. So the first thing you should know is that you must seek the help of the Holy Spirit to find out who loves you. And that love should be who is ready to sacrifice his life for the fulfillment of your destiny. It comes with a lot. Joseph may look like he's not emotional. He finds out that you are pregnant and the next thing is, I'm going to leave you. But he's still the one God wants. And he was the one that really made Mary fulfill destiny. Secondly, first know who you are, what you represent in life. If I give you five minutes to tell us all what you represent in life, I tell you, you may find a lover here. What you represent in life matters. There are many of us who are walking in hypocrisy. Who truly you are has not come out. Because you really want to keep somebody by all means. By all means. So you've hidden the most important aspect of your life. That is why you may never find the one who truly loves you. Everything about you must be plain. Don't lie about your educational background. Don't lie about your family background. There are people who are claiming their parents are dead, but they are not dead. Not until you are transparent, you won't find the one who loves you. The Bible says, and the man and woman were naked yet not ashamed. Not until you apply this law, you may never find the one who genuinely loves you. You stop impressing people. Be free. Don't try to speak slangs because you met somebody. For any reason why a person proposed to you, you must be able to keep that reason to the end. Otherwise, you lose the love of the person. We have too many hypocrites because they want to get somebody. Don't. But keep locating who you are. Keep finding out who you are. Keep finding out who you are. If you miss somebody who can handle you, you will see. Be very plain to yourself. I'm impatient. I am dull in thinking. I am dull in initiating things. I can think, but initiating is a problem. If you are speaking to somebody you've met, 
and the person doesn't know it, let the person know that I'm not an implementer, but I can have ideas. I can incubate ideas, but I'm not an implementer. Wow. Maybe the person cannot handle such a person like you. He will just walk away. You should be plain, transparent. The third thing is that you should know that love functions on the premise of interest. Somebody must be interested in something in you. And you must find out what people are interested in by being plain to yourself and knowing who you truly are. You come to church, you have a way of life. You go to school, you have a way of life. You go to the house, you have a way of life. Always trying to portray something. There are many girls here who are dying right now as I'm talking to you. No, the day the man sees your true belly, something will leave him. Don't hide your finances, young man. My salary is 600 cities. Don't hide it. Don't say you take 4,000. The day the woman finds out, something will leave her. Because everybody's love is on the premise of an interest. That is why you have to be played. So that a person can locate the interest that he can hang his love on. Not until you have been all out and been real to yourself. I tell you, you may never find who loves you. When you are all transparent, it will shock you that your transparency will attract whose love is looking for that interest that can be found in you. But we are trying to keep so many things, protect so many things. Don't do pawns to change your color. Don't apply makeup to change your color. It can be dangerous. There are certain pictures don't put on social media. You are totally different from that picture. <laughs> you are totally different from that picture. The day you are seen face to face, there will be trouble. Apostle here on this. <laughs> there are certain editing don't do it. Even if there's, especially on your birthdays, the editing they do for you, if it comes, tell the person, this is not me, change it. <laughs> I know myself. If you have a tribal mark, let it show in your pictures. It will shock you that there is a love looking for tribal mark. a love whose interest is in ball legs. There is a love whose interest is in K-legs. There is a love. Ladies, don't let anybody tell you if you are hairy on the legs or on the hands, you look like a man. There is a love looking for that. There's a love looking for that. Feel free. Live your life. It will shock you. The reason why, the reason why you are not finding love and no love is coming it's because you have changed your naturality so we don't know where you stand when God is calling fair people <laughs> and he's calling dark people you we don't know you must allow yourself to feel free it will shock you that you will locate real love if you think you are crook there is a crooker he is not just crook he is crook you will always find your kind. Don't try to be too spiritual because you are looking for love. There is a love that is looking for people who pray, car, car, car. There's a love looking for that. There is a love looking for people, Rosha, Tefra, Higa, Sotal. <laughs> there is a love <laughs> looking for that. Don't try <laughs> to change. Because if somebody comes to propose to you because of car, 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 when you go home, you must car, car. If you don't car, car, there will be car, car. You should be able to find somebody you can feel free. A man that you don't have to rush to do makeup to meet. Today I'm coming to visit you. Hey, wait, give me. <laughs> if the one you have to marry, you always have to do makeup to meet him. Ah. That will not be love. Could this be love? <laughs> but let's try to help ourselves. Don't deceive anyone. And the first step to not deceiving anyone 
is to be real to yourself. I didn't go to school. I didn't feather. I'm fine. I don't have the money that guys have. I'm okay. Only that, I also have something they don't have. I am truthful. I'm faithful. I am caring. You always have something others don't have. So don't feel bad about your life. It's not always money you should have to marry. Man, see, people who have money too don't have patience. So if you have patience, you are fine. It's not every woman that's looking for money. Some are very rich. They are looking for a faithful man. They are looking for a faithful man. They are looking for a passionate man. They are looking for a caring man. They are looking for somebody they can communicate with. They are looking for somebody who will be there to talk to them. They, they are looking for somebody. It, it, it's not money. So if you have these things and you don't have money, that doesn't mean that you should change your whole life and try to impress everybody. What you have, be it. It will attract the true love. I won't wear high heels to fall because you like high heels. I'm not under pressure. This pressure thing is killing most of you. Wear the things that suit your body, not the things that are fashionable and trendy because you have to impress somebody else. No. Look to market. What are the things that fit me? Eh, this time there's one shatari way be you are not in town. The men loves this. The men loves this style. The men love that style. The men love that. There is a man who does not know style. He knows what fits you. He does not know style. So from today, your own style. Somebody say my own style. My own style. You see the way this lady has cut her hair. That's her style. It will attract her own. It will attract her own. My dear, don't also go and cut your hair. Don't dare. <laughs> Don't dare. Everybody has his own shape of fuzzy put. Know your style. No young man should go and hire a car to take a girl out. You go and rent a private car to go and take a lady out. I win your correct. Hide the Uber. Beautifully, then you go out, you go and eat. Don't go where you don't have money for. Feel free. A place where 30 CD, 20 CD, 40 CD, you are fine. When I go to do that with your 700 CD salary, don't go and rent a car, don't go and borrow a friend's car to do show. What you impress your, that woman with is what will remain in her mind. She will expect it. The guy may be rich or he's been changing cars. If you know what is behind the changing of the cars, 